we're doing this. We're building a plane. It's really cool. I am super excited and still hasn't quite sunk in yet. We start today, so we'll see. But before we uh, started with this project, uh, we did a lot of research looking into other people and other folks who were building planes. And there's a lot of great stuff out there. But one of the things that just kind of kept seeming to show up was that um, a, a, a lot of the videos out there seem to be made by guys, which is fine. Don't care. Um, there was a couple cool couples that we got to see. But something that just started to kind of bother me with a lot of the videos was it seemed like a lot of the guys in them were saying things like, my wife tolerates this project. My wife is the one I have to get approval for spending. My wife suffers through this project. My wife doesn't, you know, it just didn't, it was like always about like tolerating and not really seem to be like kind of excited and into it and, you know, wanting to be hands on. And it's fine. It's just that for some reason, like it really struck a chord with me. And it really kind of started to like remind me of this like time back when I was a kid and I was like 12 and the one thing I really wanted for Christmas was one of those erector sets. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them but with all the little like metal pieces and you could go and you built everything and constructed it and it was really really cool and I loved it and I went back to class after that and the teacher asked you know oh so what did everybody get for Christmas and blah 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 and I went and stood up and I was all proud. My little 12-year-old self going, I got a rector set. It was awesome, blah, blah, blah. And I remember my teacher standing in front of the whole class and going, I would never get my granddaughter one of those. That's a boy's toy. And it sucked. And I mean, little 12-year-old me was in tears and, you know, really hated it and hated that feeling. And, you know, that's just kind of what, came to mind suddenly realizing every time I heard that kind of a comment come up where it's like oh my wife tolerates this so oh, you know my wife I have to get permission for the spending and everything it always just seemed like oh the wife wanted like nothing to do with it. the women you know wanted very little to do with it and that's not true for everybody again there was a couple of really neat couples that we got to watch doing it together and we're super excited about working on it together I might even be more excited than my husband about building it but you know, I have I have a little niece, and I have a lot of friends with young girls and young daughters, and it just really kind of, I don't know, it just kind of got to me, and I thought, well, you know, maybe it'd be cool if there was a channel where, you know, the woman involved is excited and, you know, shows them, hey, I mean, I'm a nerd. I'm, I admit it, and I love it. I'm so pumped about this. Uh, I'm really lucky that I had a dad who really tried to encourage me to be really hands-on with stuff and taught me how to do things like change electrical fixtures and outlets and, and whatnot and to really be comfortable being hands-on and working with all the tools out in the garage. And so I'm really excited about it. And, you know, we'll see. I don't think that people can't be... It's not to say that, like, young women and young girls out there can't be inspired by guys. I don't think you have to have a woman to look up to necessarily but I just thought it seemed like the uh, the prevalent message seemed to be that it was a lot about like women not being involved and just kind of showing like hey it's cool <laughs> to really be excited about building this plane and to be a girl and you know have some fun with it not just be tolerating it or writing the checks or whatever or authorizing the spending so um I'm really excited and so we got everything set up for the very first step for our RV-10 and we're going to start today. So uh, I'll probably do another video going a little bit more into like why we decided to build a plane and how we got there, but just kind of wanted to give you a little information about me and kind of where we're going with this. So talk to you later. 